In the heart of Sugar Beet country, just outside of Burley, the sugar beet is king and it's ground zero for high yield beet production. Producers here routinely break yield records, averaging 41 tons per acre. But there's a farmer here who's doing something different. This is Ben Beck. Last summer, he told us about his no-till beet experiment. You can see the corn stalks still standing up. But if you plant these beets on this year's corn row, it'll just plug that sucker right up. That's right. Bex developed a no-till operation planting beets right in old corn rows. We planted, first year was high moisture corn, second year was high moisture corn. We moved over 11 inches the second year and these are beets planted in the first year high moisture corn rows. So they're in the bottom of the corrugate? Of the first, first year of corn. So as we look around we have all this residue from the cornfields. Yeah. That's by design. Well, I think it's by nature. So I caught up with Beck and asked him how year three of the no-till experiment worked out. We ended up with 31 ton at 1925 sugar. And I would say that it was fairly successful. I didn't do any more than I did the year before. Stands were good, but everybody had pretty good sugar. The mother nature treated everybody pretty good. and. I didn't put any more effort in than I did the year before and I felt like I gained and we're going again another year. Traditional growers hoped for 16% sugar content on a good year, but Beck is hitting high sugar content numbers by doing less. Uh, if you can control your end, that's about all you can do. So uh, I think everybody's kind of interested in trying to do something. It's just getting out there and actually doing it. When Beck Farms, the no-till experiment continues into the 2019 season, and Ben Beck will try and make high sugar content for the third year in a row. For the Voice of Idaho Agriculture, I'm Jake Putney.